it's Nikki Lewis here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to episode three of my series, Foodie Friday. For today's Foodie Friday, I was in Los Angeles and I decided to try a Thai restaurant. I went to Pao Or Noodle Thai slash Sunset slash Boulevard. Here we go. back so after a successful day in Los Angeles having fun and trying the Thai um, food cooking it was really good I really enjoyed it today I tried the chicken pot sticker steamed chicken vegetables served with a sweet and sour sauce and then, and then I tried the Thai barbecue chicken it's a Thai style marinated chicken served with coconut rice and a green papaya there are one slide. <laughs> anyway, so after trying it, it was really good. I didn't expect to enjoy it so much. I actually thoroughly enjoyed the food. So let's just jump into our three categories, price, portion, and flavor. For price, it was about $16.90, just the two things I just mentioned by itself. So it is a pretty expensive place, um, especially since it's in Los Angeles, Dead Center, Sunset Boulevard. Hello. Of course it's going to be expensive. But at the same time, it wasn't so expensive. Like $16 for two things and the portion of it was huge. As you guys saw, that plate was huge. So I'm not so mm, about the price, but I do wish it would be you know maybe 11 12 dollars but I can understand why it's so expensive because you can't really find or at least I don't know if you can really find a lot of Thai ingredients here to make the the food so maybe they have to have it imported but I'm not sure that's just me speculating so for a price I'm gonna give it about a 7 out of 10 because it was a good um, a, it coincides with portion. It was a good portion for the price and for what it needed and what it had. I, I'm not bitter at all about the money I spent. How about that? <laughs> then, uh, portion. <laughs> that was huge. Uh, that plate was big, as you guys can see. But thinking about it now and remembering how I was eating it or when I was eating it, I only think I think I only had like three or four chicken breast and then the ramekin of rice and then the ramekin of the green papaya salad so it wasn't as huge as the plate when I first got it let it to be but as I was eating it I started realizing oh lord if it was too much I would have I wouldn't been able to finish it all but it was a perfectly good size for it the place the plate of course was abnormally big 
who's abnormally big for me. Um, but then again, Thai cooking, Thai style. That's how they like their plates. Can't complain. It was a good plate. I enjoyed the entire food. I like the portion. So the portion I'm not that bitter about. So I'm going to give it about a 6 out of 10. Just because I feel like the plate is so... Um, I tricky it tricks you because you think you're gonna have too much so you're already expecting not to have a lot and so either you get full quickly I don't know it's something mental like oh crap this has a lot of food on it I'm not gonna be able to eat it all uh, and then while you're eating it you're starting to get full and then sometimes you might leave a lot or you might just eat it all and you'll be wait am I still hungry or am I satisfied so a six out of ten for me then lastly for flavor it was delicious I really enjoyed this foodie Friday. I enjoyed the food. Of course, the chicken for me, although the chicken for me was dry. It was a little too dry for me, but then again, it had the sweet and sour sauce, which made it easier to swallow and eat the food. It was made it eater. It made it easier to eat, but I didn't like the sweet and sour sauce. So I couldn't eat the sweet and sour sauce with the chicken because it just didn't help it for me. So I ordered decided to barbecue with it so I could finish it down. I enjoyed it. I think you guys should try it. I, I super recommend you guys try this because it's something new. It's something just completely out of my normal food range which brings me back sorry i almost forgot the coconut rice it was such a different experience um i think the rice is cooked in coconut oil instead of regular oil or steamed or fried so, so it was just or unless there's something real is it real coconut rice i'm not sure but anyway i was really confused whether i enjoyed it or whether i didn't like it so that's all I'm going to say about the rice. And the same thing with the papaya, the green papaya salad. It had like a liquid in the bottom. I don't know what that liquid was. And it sometimes made it tangy and sour. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I guess since I was just so confused and new to all this food style, I just didn't know what to expect. And I didn't know how to enjoy it or if I enjoyed it. I'm probably going to go back to reorder that or try some of the new things i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment down below and tell me what you think and if you guys tried it also don't forget to share me share to me a video if you guys tried it it would be so awesome don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter pinterest vine tumblr like my page on facebook you know all the social media will be linked down below i can't wait to connect and talk with you guys on social media also, don't forget to hit that lovely subscribe button and join the garden where we can all shine. I love you guys. God bless you. Bye.